In this video, we're going to talk about two things. I'm pretty sure I have conclusive proof that if you decrease bounce rate, you increase things like page views and traffic on your site. I'm going to show you the data in this video. And the second thing is, why is this happening on my website? What I'm going to show you, it to me is an unexplained event. I don't know why it's happening, and I'd love to hear your opinions as to why it's happening. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribing the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started on this one right now. What we're looking at here is Google Analytics for one of our websites, and this is a graph of page views and bounce rate on the same graph. Page views on the bottom, bounce rate on the top. And the bounce rate, you can see, bounces between 60 and 70%. It's very high. It's a high bounce rate. And years ago, maybe in 2015, something like that, 2016, I decided the bounce rate was way too high. I'm going to fix it. So I tried to fix it, but nothing worked. So I just left it. I said, forget about it. I'm getting visitors. It's working. Bounce rate's crazy, but fine. I'll just leave it. I don't have time for this. So I left it. And something interesting happened in 2018 this is the graph for 2019 let's go back to 2018 let's go to february and to december and apply and something funny happened right here we got the crazy bounce rate again this is 2018 now the last one we saw was 2019 we see the the page views picking up over time and in 2018, on October 5th, the bounce rate crashed from between 60 and 70% to between 1 and 7%. 7 was 8. 1 and 8%. Bounce rate just tanked. I didn't do anything. I did things to improve my bounce rate a long time ago. And then I said, forget it. It's not working. I'm just going to leave it. And here we see something happened and bounce rate tanked. And you can see the page views. They don't skyrocket, but the page views are clearly higher than the average when the bounce rate went down. And then for whatever reason, again, I didn't do anything, bounce rate shot back up after a month and a week, and it's back up to 70, 60, 70%. If we look at the per week stats or stats by the week, we see there's a definite correlation between the reduced bounce rate and increased page views. Now this happened again. So the bounce rate went back up. Let's just extend this time range to December 2019. The first graph we saw, I stopped it right here, right before this dip, this anomaly. And here we see it happened again. Around the same time in the fall, it was October 5th, the first time, October 7th. And this time it was November, I'll show the week, November 3rd, November 10th-ish, that it tanked again, the bounce rate tanked. Page views jumped. This dip here is because of Christmas. If I extend this to January, oh, there we go. It's not what I wanted. That's better. So we see our bounce rate is still rock bottom. Our page views are sort of recovering because it's after the holidays now. But bounce rate is still rock bottom. Again, I didn't do anything. And it tanked, jumped back up. Currently, it's tanked. It's been down longer than it was last year. And I haven't done anything, and it might just jump back up any minute. And I don't know why that's happening, but I think it's conclusive proof that if you decrease your bounce rate, you will increase your page views. This is, these are page views coming from organic search. So whatever happened on the site, people are liking it, and they're viewing more pages, and there's more people coming to the website. But I don't understand why my bounce rate went down. Is Google trying a different way to calculate it? I know it used to be if someone went to one page on your site and left, that was a bounce even if they stayed for a long time on that one page. Are they changing that? Did they test a different bounce rate calculation here and maybe right now? So now I pass it over to you. Have you seen this before? Do you have any ideas what could be causing this? Do you have any guesses? If you do, please leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to hear what you think and maybe we can figure out what's causing my bounce rate to tank. We already know it's correlated to good things on the website, like more views, but why is the bounce rate tanking? And next, after you do that, watch this playlist on SEO because bounce rate reduction is definitely an SEO technique or important for SEO and other stuff is important too. Check out this playlist for more on SEO and then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.